Godot is growing and maturing as a game engine, and if ever there was a time to learn how to use it, that time is right now. Take some inspiration from the games in today's video, because they were all made with Godot for the 50th Wild Jam. Enjoy! Game, game Dev, Dev Journey. Journey In 12 hours to the witching hour, you play as an apprentice witch who's taking part in her first Hallow's Eve ritual. Put on your platforming shoes and get ready for a puzzle platformer that doesn't have any enemies, other than both light and dark. You'll see what this means. Frozen has really outdone himself with this one, as it's an impressive amount of work for just one person to accomplish for a jam game. The platforming puzzles are well done and challenging too. Frozen will be a Godot developer I'll be following, and you should too. Please. Check out his itch page, link is in the description. Spork Tank is a prolific game maker, and he's really taken his jam games to the next level lately. Incredibly, Spork has entered the last 10 wild jams in a row, and has won a few, and certainly placed in the top 10 often enough. His latest entry is a short adventure through the lands of Barlaam where you must help the locals appease their overlord, follow the clues and find the necessary objects to perform the ritual precisely. A really fun Zelda-like adventure game, give it a try on Spork's page and follow him for sure, because the quality is unreal. A really fun card game puzzler entry was Intricard by Sigitang. You are enslaved by an eldritch entity and must manipulate stone cards to execute the ritual it needs. Maybe then it will finally let you go. You need to match up the symbols on the cards to allow blood to flow between cards by placing them on altars. This is one of those games where at first you have no idea what you're doing. But as you play you learn and then it becomes really fun. This one reminded me of Inscription, and with the right kind of story, it could become a full game. Make sure that you try it out for yourself. Sklite by Aerosol Man is a fun one-bit puzzle game where you have to connect ropes between gems so that the blood spirit can flow between the skulls. I really enjoyed this one, and the puzzles start out fun and easy but they soon become really tough and challenging, and not obvious at all. If you're into puzzle games and you want to challenge yourself, then this is one for you, so make sure to play it. Another game with a one-bit graphical style is Protect the Ritual, a simple little game about protecting a ritual from being interrupted by ghosts. Keeping a game simple is perhaps one of the best things you can do in a jam, and it paid off here because I really enjoyed bopping the ghosts with my hammer and keeping the ritual safe. Advice for improvements could be to scale the difficulty a bit quicker and to introduce a variety of enemies, but for a game made under the constraints of a jam, this is excellent. I'm sorry to say that that's all that I had time for this week. Thanks for joining me and I do hope that you will join me again next time.